As you might have seen on the title, today's video is gonna be about ranking dictators in a tier list, but I'm not alone. I'm here today with the one and only best out history channel, Rewriting History. Hello guys, it's Rewriting History. As uh, Portfolio said, literally the best alternate history YouTuber out there. So, you know, subscribe. It's not just me and Portfolio, however. We have one other future alternate history YouTuber. His name is... Hello dudes, it's me, Helmetorian History, and I am an up-and-coming youtuber who's gonna blow you away with facts and logic and his content maybe subscribe subscribe, subscribe to all of us yeah please and give us money please clap please so let's get into the meat of the video putting pictures of dictators in different colored boxes is gonna be really fun so stick to the end okay Let's start with rewriting history, who's gonna introduce our first dictator, Bashar al-Assad, who is the current dictator of Syria. And there is nothing much to say. He's just like a Syrian dude. So he, he goes he goes straight into D tier. I don't know, dude. Do something more. Do like a genocide or something. No, actually, I can say something a bit more about Bashar al-Assad. I think that he studied in Switzerland, which great country, by the way. And originally, he didn't want to be a dictator at all. He just didn't want to be involved in Syrian politics. Yeah, but I think, yeah, I think that his father made him yeah. and he just accepted and started a civil war, which is, is just like very based. It's like, no, I don't want to be a dictator, but you know, if I'm going to be one, I'm going to start a civil war. So I think that it deserves a bit more than a D tier, maybe B tier, since this guy is like, yeah, I don't want it. So I'm just going to have some fun with it, start a civil war or something like that. So let's see what Helmetorian thinks. Uh, personally, I think that uh, of all the dictators in this list, he is probably the most based just because. The thing about Bashar al-Assad is that he's technically fighting against Islamic uh, State and uh, many other Islamist uh, groups, which I believe as a Christian man is very based. And as such, I believe he, he should go into the B tier. So I've changed my opinion. As far as I've heard, isn't even a real dictator. So I'm giving him an F tier. He's not even a dictator. Uh, well, if we sum all of the ratings up, rewriting history, where, what do you think? Where did he should go? I think that he should go into B tier. Personally, I think we should respect everybody's opinion here and we should go with C because uh, he is, well, you're, in you're, a way, not a real dictator. But I like him. You're not giving the final rating. You're just supposed to give your... <laughs> Yeah, my opinion, opinion. Is, my opinion is my opinion you should go I'm not saying the, the yeah. final opinion, I'm just saying what well, I think. So I think this averages out to like C and a half, D and a half, so let's put him in D. No, put him in C. What I, do you mean? I, I believe he's trying to uh Shundu right now. No, it's C tier. Well let's put him in C tier, because I mean the guy tried to be a doctor. I can respect that. The, being a doctor is hard. President Niazov is our next dictator. He was uh the ruler of Turkmenistan in the nineties and two thousands. He was a pretty cool guy. I would say that he deserves at least A tier for uh, creating the Marvel City. So, Niazov seems like a cool guy, but figure me out. That's not what a dictator does. Dictators just look after themselves. So I have to give him a C tier. He just doesn't seem like the guy who'd fuck over his country for his own gain. But let's see what rewriting history says. I'm actually going to put him into A tier because as Hermetorian already said, he built the Marble City, which is one of the most expensive cities to live in. The city name is Ashgabat. The the capital city of Turkmenistan and many residents of Turkmenistan cannot afford to live in there which I think is very based since he built a city that nobody could afford to live in so this is why I put him into A tier so let's review the final ratings I gave him C Helmetorium what did you give him? I gave him a solid A and rewriting just also gave him an A so I mean he has to go into A tier pretty cool dictator but I, I mean he can treat his people worse that's what I would suggest he likes dogs but yeah. he's already dead, so I guess he can't hear that. If you don't know who Tojo is, he was one of the big five in Japan during World War II. And he was kind of the de facto leader of the Imperial Japanese. I mean, we all know what happened in Nanjing, so he was at least partially responsible for that. I'm gonna have to give him an eight year for now. Let's see what rewriting history has to say. I honestly don't have an opinion of him, so I think that C tier is kind of neutral, at least in these uh, rankings. Because yeah, he did some things in Nanjing, but he also lost a war but now at a second look at it his country while he was a dictator was the only country in history that got nuked which i think is very based to have a country so fucked up that it actually gets nuked so maybe i'll consider changing what i already said to s tier just because he got nuked like i think that's amazing the only person in this list who managed to achieve this let's see what helmetorian thinks about this 
So, Tojo is kind of a funny name. I don't really know too much about the guy personally, um, honestly, because uh, I guess I just never got interested in people beyond Hirohito and uh, during World War II Japan. But I, I can confirm that uh, World War II Japan, not a very good place to live. Uh, and also not a very good place to get invaded by. So, uh, perhaps a B... For, for the list is like B is kind of the middle for dictators. B is a good place for him as uh, he was a pretty nasty guy. So yeah. So it's me Prophorius again. And I'll have to change my ratings because I just looked up that he got executed in 1948. And that's not really very based. Like if you're a dictator, you want to get away with it. So I'm going to have to drop my rating to B. Sorry, ho sorry Torju fans. He, he just like... Maybe he should have escaped to like Mexico or something. So yeah, I think the overall score should be a B for Tojo. I actually agree. I didn't know about this execution. And now I honestly want him to be in C. Well, I mean, I think the average is still a B if rewriting history keeps his rating. Yeah. All right. B. And he does. It is a B after all. Okay, so we have uh, Mr. Gorbachev here, the man who managed to ruin the Soviet Union. Actually tried to reform the Soviet Union, but he wasn't allowed to. He had some pretty interesting reforms like the perestroika, for example, and allowing people to have an opinion of a communist state, which I think is very based. It's like you are running a very bad system of government and you allow the people to criticize it and you're surprised that they don't like it. I would consider him into C tier because I don't think that he did too much. He tried to do something, but as a dictator, he didn't do too much. I honestly don't even believe that Gorbachev was a dictator because for all intents and purposes, he was a very nice guy and he just got into a position of power in the state that simply didn't allow him to peacefully resign quickly enough as the US. He also died very recently, which is very based. I think it's very sad. It's very sad. Well. I think Helmetorian is ro voting for F tier, which is not even a dictator. And I think both of my friends just missed the most important fact about Gorbachev, which is that he starred in a Pizza Hut ad. So yeah, yeah, S tier, S tier, S tier. S -tier. I, I actually disagree. <gasps> uh, no self-respecting dictator would star in a Pizza Hut ad, which is basically propaganda for the West. So I mean, I'm gonna have to agree with Helmetorian and put him in not even a dictator. I'm going to go with S tier just because Pizza Hut. I'm going to have to say I was incorrect. Pizza Hut is based, but actually, uh, Proforius uh, made a good point about it being Western propaganda. So he gets lowered from S to C for me. He was a dictator after all, yeah, the Pizza Hut, you know? Well, I think I voted F. Writing history has voted SS. And Helmetorian has voted C, so he just stays in C. Uh, so next up we have Adolf Hitler. And um, he was the dictator of Germany until 45 when he uh, shot himself, unfortunately. Uh, or I guess... Misclick. <laughs> <laughs> or... As he said. And so, uh... <clears throat> he allegedly shot himself. Nobody has looked in Argentina. That, that is... They are, both of them are stating facts. Uh, I agree. Uh, so anyway, as I was saying, he, uh, he became the Chancellor of Germany, and then later the Supreme Leader of Germany, the Führer. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have too much to go off of him, as uh, a lot of the documents got purged uh, in 1944 and 5. But we can assume that most things that people say about him are probably true. So, uh, yeah, I, I think he goes into the Supreme A category, as he did end up losing quite a uh, disastrous war uh, near the end. And, uh, yeah. So, Hitler must be one of the most infamous dictators, like, ever. You ask any layman on the street who is Hitler, he knows. You ask any layman on the street who Saddam Hussein is, well, they probably know too, but they don't know who Lukashenko is. I bet you that. The thing about Hitler, all around... Until his death, he was an SS tier dictator. He orchestrated a massive genocide, the most popular in history. He started a massive war. In fact, it was a world war. And he also managed to somehow be the biggest bowler when he only had one bowl. <laughs> <laughs> but there is one thing, one thing only, that detracts from his rating of SS. And that's the thing, that he killed the greatest menace to society. Adolf Hitler is the man who killed Hitler. So I can't in good faith put him in SS tier. He has to be a B. Sorry wearables, maybe try next time. And I'm gonna move the mic to rewriting history, who sure has a lot of things to say. Well, actually I'm not going to say a lot of things about Hitler. One thing that I will say, however, is that all of these dictators on the list, only Adolf Hitler collected stamps. And if you go to my YouTube channel, you know that I show coins 
postage stamps and banknotes, stuff like that. Hitler was the only one who collected postage stamps. He had a pretty impressive collection, maybe one of the most impressive collections in the world. So I would have to give him an eight year for that, just because I admire his stamp collection. So I think the final verdict for Hitler is eight year. He tried. Next up is Antonio Salazar. You might think, well, who is even that guy? Well, he was actually a dictator of Portugal in the World War II period. And as you know, Portugal didn't do much in World War II. I mean, any self-respecting dictator would have at least invaded a country or two. So, I mean, he did do a lot of, uh, I mean, let's say repressing in his own country. So I gotta put him in C tier. It's rewriting history and I'm going to give him an A tier for the simple reason that he was a Christian priest and he, from a Christian priest, turned into a dictator, which I think is absolutely based. Like, yes, he didn't invade any countries, but I mean, he was a Christian priest and he ended up the dictator. That's amazing. Like, nothing less than eight year, I swear. Unfortunately, I'm racist against Portugal, so I'm gonna have to put it at D tier, as unlike the Spanish, the Portuguese have barely accomplished anything in world history. Uh, Brazil. Uh, outside of Brazil. <laughs> Brazil actually uh, colonized Portugal. I believe that's a fact, actually, now that I think about it. So, Hamatorian, what's your final verdict? Uh, I would have to say he wasn't even a dictator, as in a way, he really was just the high priest of Portugal who uh, didn't realize that he didn't become the Pope. Like, he just picked the wrong Catholic country. It, it happens. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a real issue. And, uh, yeah, I'm sure Jesus will be proud. So, I think the final verdict is D, guys. Well, that's our worst dictator so far. If you want to see part 2, check out this video. Or if you want to go over all of the parts of the Ranking Dictator series, check out this playlist. If you're not interested in any of that, click here.